So it's nine o'clock and we're live from New York City. Well, sort of New York City. We're actually in Long Island City at the Paper Factory Hotel. And I'm doing a live stream on our vacation because I don't like to miss doing my live streams. I was actually going to try to do it downtown in Manhattan and I thought Wi-Fi is gonna be much better here. So let's fingers crossed Wi-Fi works. So, if you're new to my channel, my name is Heather Boyd Wire, and every week I do a live stream um, and I call it uh, Wire Lady TV. So, this would be episode 20, which I can hardly believe I've done that many episodes. I think most of them worked okay. I did have one week that the uh, it didn't upload and I actually retaped the whole thing. I think that week I, I uh, scrambled and I uh, did it a live on Facebook because YouTube didn't work and then I downloaded the Facebook live and uploaded it to YouTube. So technology can be very, very complicated. So little recap of our trip. Today we had a super busy day. Yay! Clarice is here. You're the first one on. Right on. That is awesome. So Clarice, I'm in your city, sort of. I'm uh, probably a little bit a ways away from where you live. We're in uh, Long Island City. Uh, we just got home. We had a super busy day. Uh, today was the day that my daughter had her meetup at the American Girl store. So her name is Mimi B Dolls. She goes by Mimi B Dolls on Instagram and on YouTube. So uh, I could show you uh, what we did today, we did a, well, she did a meetup and she gave away these cute little halter tops. And this was a collab that uh, I did the sewing of the halter top and then she did the photo transfer. This is a photo transfer of one of her uh, doll photos. And so it looks backwards now. Actually, I don't know how it looks to you guys, but the, the lettering looks backwards. Maybe it's the screen. So everybody that came to the meetup got one of these beautiful little halter tops. And then while hi. I was, oh, you want to come in? So Mimi's over there. She's going to come over and say hi at some point, or I'll bring I'm the camera over. Bed. My bed is such a mess right <laughs> She's now. exhausted. I will bring the camera over to show you. Hey, Sharon, how are you? You're a little far from, uh, uh, hi, Mimi. And Sharon says hi, Mimi. Hi, Sorry, guys. How are you? We're actually super brain dead because we had a busy, busy day. Yesterday, we had a busy day, too. So this is the other thing I gave out at the meetup was these, I just brought my tools because I wasn't sure if I would do this live stream downtown and I made these little uh, star uh, kind of necklaces for the dolls. So maybe what I'll do is, yeah, busy is good. So I'm going to bring you guys over here like this way. I won't flip the screen yet. Oh, can you, can you, me? because we don't want to get banned from YouTube, but uh, <laughs> this is what her doll was wearing, which is why she's topless right now. Not the same doll on the shirt. <laughs> Sexy doll, Sharon says. Ha -ha. Not the same doll on the shirt. Oh, okay, so this is the same doll on the shirt. But definitely check out her Instagram, Mimi B Dolls, and you'll see the photo shoot. And if you look at my Instagram, uh, Heather Boyd Blog, you'll see some behind the scenes from, um, from the photo shoot, shoot and the meetup today. And same here. And same here, yeah, check out her. Her channel, her thing too. Are you gonna do a video? I'm one day. She might do a video. So yeah, we're we're at a super cool hotel. If you guys ever come to New York uh, City, uh, if you're watching the replay and you want a great hotel, this is called the Paper Factory Hotel. So when I'm done the DIY part of this video, I'm gonna bring you on a little tour down the hall because this is actually an old factory that has been renovated into a hotel. And it's really cool because I actually had a factory job many, many years ago. Uh, after I graduated from university, I uh, worked as a year uh, for a year as a graphic artist in um, Toronto. And actually I was working in a factory in Toronto, but as a graphic artist. And then when I quit that job and I moved to Montreal, I was literally a starving artist. So I kind of struggled my first summer selling jewelry on the street. And hey, Claudia, how are you? 
you. Welcome to New York. Hi, Claudia. Oh, Mimi says hi, Claudia. And uh, yes, yeah, so I, I moved to um, Montreal and then after about a year of struggling as a starving artist, I worked in a factory actually sewing pants for about four months. So I have definitely this kind of being in this hotel reminds me of uh, working in that factory. So I worked for a few months just to make money and then I went off to Europe and traveled for a couple of months in Europe, which was awesome. So what we're going to do today, let's hop into the DIY part. Otherwise, I'm going to be yammering all night long because I'm a little bit, like I said, a little bit brain dead, but it's all good. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my same setup that I usually do with the screen. Hello, lovely ladies. I hope you're enjoying New York, says Claudia. We are having a blast. Yeah, yesterday, actually last night we went to live comedy. It was a pop-up event called uh, Gold Comedy. It was all women uh, doing stand-up and they have a program teaching young women, uh, it, like high school age women, how to do stand-up comedy. So it was amazing. Like there were some seasoned comics, but also there was a young girl who was like 16 years old that has been doing stand-up comedy for several years. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put some links below to some of the fun stuff we've been doing on our trip. And this could be sort of a half travel vlog, half DIY video. That could be kind of cool. And tomorrow we're going to do the run of a whole bunch of ga um, art galleries in Soho. Uh, there's a whole bunch of vernissages tomorrow night. So we're going to go to, to see that. We're going to go walk on the Brooklyn Bridge and uh, just do what we can do in our last day. So we're trying to pack everything into three days. So what I'm going to do now is because Clar Clarice had asked me about doing, um, Clarice, you're amazing at sending me uh, samples and photos of, of projects that you want me to, to troubleshoot. And I super, yeah, love Soho. Soho is amazing. So we're going down there tomorrow. Yeah, and Clarice, so what I did was I did a few sketches uh, based on that one um the photo you sent me and I think the photo you sent me was something like this it's like a bicycle made with two little buttons and then from there I saw another one that was kind of like this it's like an old-fashioned bike and then from there I had my own idea to try to do a like a 3d little tricycle thing so let's give it a shot let's see if it's gonna work I don't have my normal setup for the DIY uh, video so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip the screen and Hopefully you'll be able to see my hands. Oh, hi, hi from New York. Are you in? Are you in New York? Apotheca Beatery. That would be cool if you're in New York. That's awesome. So let's flip the screen. Let me just get my finger over here and flip the screen. Oh, okay. Wow. So you could definitely see my table here. I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit. I want to get it nice and centered. Yeah. So if I you're in the Bronx. How cool is that? Um, Mimi had a meetup. My daughter had a meetup today and there was a girl there from the Bronx. Wasn't she from the Bronx? Yeah. That is so wild. Small world. Well, if I had known, I, had, I would have definitely arranged more of an organized meetup in New York City. But because it was sort of last minute, I didn't really arrange anything. But let's get going. Let's get going with our um, DIY. So what I'm going to do first is I have these little buttons so what I thought I would do first is try that um, old-fashioned style bicycle so I'm gonna see what this this is 20 gauge wire so let's try with the 20 gauge wire I'll do this this seems to be the simplest design I'll do it first <laughs> so there we go and yeah so actually Apotheca Beatery uh, if you would like to recommend any cool things in New York City that we could squeeze into our last day just let me know so uh, actually I bet there's some cool bead shops but I don't even think we're gonna have time to go bead shopping we're gonna see so let's see, let's try, let's try to do this old fashioned bike. So let's take this button here and I'm going to just stick the wire into the button like this. And then I'm gonna just bend it. Beat shops 36, 39th and six. Okay, well luckily um, YouTube uh, say is gonna fun to beat. I will definitely check those out because if we're in the neighborhood, I would certainly drop by. And those are gonna be saved in the chat after on the replay of the video so I will be able to check it out and see so here let's just do this so we're going to just basically to start we're just going to twist the wire a few times around the button like this 
This is a really awkward angle compared to what I usually do, but that's all good. So do you see how I've just twisted it in place like that? So to do the, they call it a penny farthing. Basically, it's an old fashioned type of bicycle. So already we have sort of the beginning stages of it here. And then if we want to put the back wheel on, you're going to kind of measure about where you would want it to be. And then we can take our pliers and bend the wire at a kind of a 45 degree angle. No, that would be 90 degrees. My math is off. And then we're gonna put the button on here. See, we're gonna put a, the button like this. So it's already starting to look like the old fashioned bike. And then we're gonna bend this up like that. And then just twist it around a couple of times to keep it in place, really solid like that. Okay, I'm wondering maybe I'll put a little prop under the iPod to hold it up so you guys are going to be able to see better. But for now, I'll just kind of move this back and forth. It's Yeah, like a vintage bike, exactly. This is what they call a penny farthing. It's an old-fashioned bike. And the, the one I had actually seen on Google didn't have a seat. Like, it was just this and handles. And I thought it was, like, really simple. But let's try to put, like, a little seat on it. A little bit more like a bicycle so what we can do is just go up part way and then when where you where you want the seat to be we're just going to bend that around now for some reason my this is going out of focus but we're going to do our best to keep it in focus so let's just bend this around so now we're going to bend it around the middle bar to do a seat we'll bend it around a couple of times and then for the seat you can either do uh, add another bead there, but to keep it simple, let's just form it with the pliers. I might have put it a little bit too high, but you've got this sort of general idea. So if we go like that, and then we're just going to form a bit of a seat on there with the pliers. Actually, maybe maybe I'll get you to get me a little book. If is there like a little phone book or something? We can prop this up. You finally catch a live video. Yay, Denise, thank you so much. Thanks for hopping on. Well, you came on a special day because I'm in New York City. I'm on vacation, so I don't really have all my tools at hand for doing these the live stream. Usually I have an overhead stand for my, for my um, camera, but I'm just going to wing it here with the best that I can do. I'm going to try one like this, and then maybe I'll try one where I flip the screen and then do it in front of you guys. So now we're just making the old fashioned bicycle. And so this is what we've got so far, very stylized. If you wanted to do a, a, um, a bead for the seat, you can. I just did like a little stylized uh, seat like that. I'm just gonna move my camera a bit. And then we're gonna bend this around a few times like this, okay. And then we want to form some kind of handles. I probably should have printed a picture of a penny farthing, but this is what I got so far. My husband actually makes these in a large size out of, out of wire for like decorations. And he used to make them and sell them when he was selling on the street, he used to make them. So look, if I turn it this way, you'll see how we're going with the handles. And then we can just, with the pliers, just bend them back like that and then we're going to form the handlebars push it back like that and then just bend that around a couple of times okay sometimes it's easier to hold them with the pliers sometimes you can just do it by hand okay we're just going to go around like that oh and i'm going to just turn on my computer at the same time and then that way if i miss any comments I'll be able to see them. So let's just go to videos and I'll see what's going on. Here we go. So I can see it there and then I can see your live chat. Okay, perfect. So let's just clip that one. And then we're gonna go to the other side and we'll do the other side, the other handle. 
like that. It's almost 3D. In fact, if I had put like a little kickstand, it would have stand, stood up, which I, I could have easily put a kickstand, but you can add a wire after if you do want to do a kickstand. So in fact, what I could do now, even if you don't have a kickstand, you could just push that to the back and maybe get it to stand like that. But let's just try to add a kickstand to it. We're just going to bend this wire around. I'm going to clip it off. Boy, the maid's going to find all kinds of little, little um, bits of wire. Now, Claudia, you just made a comment and it just went by. Let me check. Does this bicycle look like the one we did together on our blindfold challenge? So, Claudia, um, it's not quite the same. The one we did in the blindfold challenge uh, didn't have any beads. So what this one is, it's like the one we made, but there's buttons instead of the wheels. So it's actually super cute. And Claudia, next time I see you, I definitely I'm going to bring a whole bag of these samples that I've made in my videos and you'll be able to definitely visualize uh, what they look like. So this one has a big button for the front wheel and a little button for the back wheel and it's uh, it's like an old-fashioned penny farthing bike. So it's actually super cute and if you wanted to you can add a wire and make it stand up. So there's that one and then now what I'm going to do is try to do a regular bicycle. So let me just see what other buttons I have. I have a couple, the, I just need to get two that are the same, using the buttons for wheels too. It's funny, Denise, it's actually not my original idea, but I did I did see something similar to this on Google. I've just added the seat because I didn't see one with a seat. But years ago, I did make um, a bicycle with little button wheels as well. So, um, and I don't remember if it's like the ones I've seen online or not, but it, it's probably a little bit similar. So let's try to do one with the red, um, the red buttons. I'm going to cut, a, this, this wire is going to be a little bit thinner, just so it's going to be a little easier to work with. The first one, it's adorable, eh? Oh, add a little basket in the front. That would be times. So we've just attached one button as the front wheel and then we're going to bend the wire towards the back. Okay and then now we want to do a kind of a parallel line like this. This one I'm, I'm going to try to do it a little bit different than the ones I've seen online because there is a sort of a style that you see online that's similar but not quite the same so let's just see how we're gonna I'm just gonna wing it I like troubleshooting designs and you guys are so patient so I appreciate that so let's do this one here if we line it up so where we think it should go and then we're gonna bend the wire back where the hole would be in the button if we go like that and then we're going to add the button we'll just stick it in there okay I have so many buttons too because I used to do a lot of arts and crafts workshops with kids so I have a lot of buttons left over than that from that and I think what I'm going to do is because this wire is pretty flexible I'm going to try this because the idea is you don't want the buttons to wiggle around too much so I'm actually putting it through one hole and then coming back through the other hole like that and then that way the idea is it stays a little bit securely in place. So if we do that, this isn't going to move around too much. So that's a good thing. And then we're going to bend that a little bit at an angle. Okay. This is very similar how I do just the, the, the plain wire bikes, except with these. I love, I love watching you think through and troubleshoot. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it's definitely Sharon. It's definitely a creative process because, and that's why I love doing the live streams like this because I sure I could work out the designs ahead of time, 
and it would be easier, but this way it's, uh, I work well under pressure. So this is a good thing. And it actually reminds me of when I used to do a lot of kids workshops and, you know, the kids would ask me, can you make this? And Heather, can you do this? Can you do that? And I'd be like, well, I'll try, you know, and kids are forgiving. So, so we would just like work out designs and troubleshoot and it was so much fun. So there we go. So we're now we're going to do the, the uh, seat. And we're going to just form it, like make sort of an abstract triangular shape. This one's not going to be super 3D. It's going to be a little bit more two-dimensional. And certainly there is a way that I could do the seat to make it more 3D. But this is going to be just a little bit more stylized, like a, almost like a silhouette. So see, real life. Yeah, this is, this is real life. This is not perfect. And my technology is definitely a little... A little funny today because I don't have my stand but it's all good so you see we've gone through the back button and come back out again and then I've formed the seat and then I'm going down and I'm going to actually twist it around the bar here there we go yeah it's it's creativity at its at its uh, <laughs> finest here maybe not so finest so now I want this one to stand up so I think I will do a little bit of a stand for this one. So what I'm going to do is just bend the wire back. So let's just bend it back. And there we go. So we're going to bend this back like this. So this is actually going to be the kickstand, this here. And then we're going to wind it around a couple of more times. Just we'll wind it around a couple more times here. And, and then wind it back. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit, actually, let's go here. We're going to bring it to the front, okay? And then, yeah, the, it's also the, the fact that I'm doing this very improvised, It's and I don't have a lot of room to, like, get my tools in there. It's not as, the wire is not as straight as I would like to it to be. I'm, I'm just kind of winging it in that way. But you get the idea of, like, which way to bend the wire and all that kind of thing. So let's just bend this around like that okay a few times and then usually what I do is when I make my bike earrings is I'll just let me bend it a couple of more times here we'll do a couple more times okay and then what I'm going to do is actually bring this wire down a little bit and then I bend it up a little bit more now this is going to make it a little more solid because what we're going to actually do is bend it back around the seat. And it just gives it a little more solidity. So we're just going to do that. Bend it a couple of times around the seat. Like that. And what we could do, which I actually have never done before. What I usually do is I just usually clip it off there. But because I have a little bit of extra wire, I think I'm going to bend it back. I'm going to bend it back to the front here and bend it up so it, it's kind of going to be hidden it's like two lines of wire here because I don't want it to look like two wires but if one's behind the other then it doesn't really show too much so then let's just bend this a couple of times now this way the advantage of doing it this way is we actually will have two wires we're finishing with two wires instead of one so I can make give the illusion of it being a little more three-dimensional because what I'll do is bend one wire one way and one wire the other way and it's going to look more 3D. So if we do that, just press it a little bit. So now what we can do is form our handlebars and we're gonna bend this back, same like we did in the, in the old fashioned bike, okay, like that. Okay, there's one, and then let's do the other one while we're at it. We can get them more or less symmetrical. They certainly don't have to be perfect. You're gonna get different views of this. Here's the top view. We've got, then we're gonna do the side view. So there we've got the wires bent, and then always the trick is how to get rid of these little ends. So we're going to just bend them around. Unfortunately, it's not super easy to see what I'm doing, but you have an idea. So you're gonna you want to bend the ends around just to just to end it off, just to finish them off. So we're gonna bend the ends 
like that. And then this one too. We'd love to see it, all the samples. We could even, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, maybe we'll do that, uh, Claudia. We'll do a video where I bring my samples to, sh to uh, show you. And then you have to guess which ones they are. Although I'm sure you're going to have absolutely no, no problem guessing because uh, you certainly are familiar with my work and you've heard the, the lowdown on, on, the, on the design. So that's kind of cool too. So we're just clipping the little sharp ends. You could go in with your flap. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? You're joining us in, well, I'm in New York City. A couple of other people here are in New York City, which is pretty awesome. And uh, so, so the kickstand, remember I did a kickstand uh, a couple of minutes ago? So now what I want to do to the kickstand is I'm actually going to take the flat pliers. She, she makes it look <laughs> easy. Yeah, well, they are, they are a little messy, Clara, Clarice, but you get the idea anyways. But this one actually has turned out pretty well. Wow. I'm, sometimes I'm actually kind of impressed with when I do something and I don't, I don't have any expectations, but then it turns out much better than I thought. And like I said, this is a little, it's a little bit wonky, but it's kind of cool that it actually stands up. So there we go. Number two, this one's kind of fun and it almost looks like it really works. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to have fun playing with these later. So all I need to do is I'll, I'll do a little stand on this one and, uh, and we'll figure it out. So the other thing I wanted to do to troubleshoot, which is, might be virtually impossible, but I'm going to give it a try anyways, is the tricycle. So the tricycle, it's cool that it stands eh? Hey, yeah, no, I'm really happy that the, for the stand. So for the for the trike, uh, I showed you my sketch. So here's a little sketch of the tricycle. It's a little bit more 3D. So let's see if it's actually going to work. So I have some buttons here. I have a big, a slightly bigger button, and then a couple of smaller buttons. I actually have some black wire too, so that might be appropriate. We'll do black wire and black buttons. That could be fun. And I'm gonna go also go again with the 22 gauge wire just because it's a lot easier to work with. If you want it more solid, use the um, the 20 gauge because that's a little bit thicker, but the 22 gauge is good for, um, it's still solid enough. It's not like you're gonna be get, giving it a lot of wear and tear. So, Let's start the same way we did the old fashioned bike. So we'll take the wire and we'll just stick it into this front, um, one of the holes. I'm using a four, a four hole button, but you could also use a two hole button. I don't know that it really matters so much. And then you want to just bring that up like that and then bend the longer wire around the shorter wire. So I have about two inches sticking up and then now I'm going to bend the shorter one around. I mean bend the longer one around the shorter one a few times. Okay and to make the trike I just have to figure out how I'm going to do this. So I think if we bring it down to about here, okay, and then rather than add the button right away, we're actually gonna bend this at perpendicular at a right angle there. So we've got that. And then what I wanna do is, I think we're going to stick the button on. Let's give it a try and see. We'll just stick the button on there. This might be a situation where I would have wished that I worked out the design going to do. So if I stick the button on here, but I want it a little bit more out because it's one. Okay, uh, thanks, Claudia. Thanks so much for hopping on and we'll definitely connect when we're back in Montreal. That's uh, looking forward to, uh, to seeing you again at a YouTube Montreal event, if not before. So here, we're going to add the button here. And I think what I'm going to do is actually bend it at a right angle and then I'm going to put it back through the opposite hole in the button. So if you have a two hole button, you know, just put it in the other hole. If you have a four hole button, just stick it in the opposite hole 
of what you have there. So let's just do it there. Try to hold it in place so it's, because we want to keep a little bit of a distance from here, the middle to where that one goes. And so the idea is now is how are we going to get it to stay in place? I have an idea. Let's just bring it that way a bit. We're going to, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm just bringing the wire back a little bit and then doing a bend like sort of centering at the center of the button. So if we do a bend at the center of the button and then twist this around, the idea is you always kind of need to twist it around a little bit to, to secure it in place. Otherwise it's going to be really wobbly. So if we just even twist it around a few times and then let's come, let's bring it back. And so the idea now Oh, it's still really wobbly. So what can we do now to fix that? Okay. I think what we might have to do is actually go through the other holes. So let's try that because right now it's really too wobbly. I think it's wobbly because I didn't go around like the outside of the button because I've only gone around the middle of the button. So let's actually go through the other holes. Okay, so we're going to kind of like we're sewing a button. Let's go through this hole again. And there might end up being quite a bit of wire, but at least it's going to make it more solid. So let's pull this back. I don't know if you guys can hear the traffic outside. It is a little bit noisy outside. We're kind of in an industrial area, but um, there's still quite a bit of traffic. Now, I'm not sure why this one is not going through. There we go. So we just pulled that one through. So we put it through a few times, that wire, and let's see if it's going to hold in place. Um, hmm, let's just try it. I'm going to try to try to just twist it around a little bit more and see what it's going to do. Let's just hope it doesn't break because you don't want the wire to break. So we're going to just bring it around. And actually what I might end up doing, I'm going to try to twist. I'm going to flip the screen now and then I'm going to see if it's going to be easier for me to do with it. There we go. So, hey guys. So I just flipped the screen back because I find it's a little bit awkward to work and to not have my hands free. So let's just see if it's going to work a little better this way. So we have the one button here at the back, but I'm finding it's really, you see that it's really wobbly and I really want it to be super solid. So what I might end up doing, because, because it's decorative, it doesn't, and the wheel doesn't have to move around or anything. So what I'm actually going to do is go out to the side and back through the button. So at least I have one edge that's like really solid there. And then that button's not going anywhere. If you do it that way, if you loop it around the outside, it seems to work better. And so now I'm going to bring it across here. Okay, but maybe if I hold this in the white side. Leslie, hey from Hanford, is that California? That's cool. I'm in New York City. So here we go. We're going to bring this one over here and we want to do the wheel on the other side now. So let's get the other button and let's just put it into the other side. Now I have a more of an idea of how I'm going to attach it. So if we put it over here and we want this to be sort of around the same distance as part of the other one. So that's the tricky part. You hold it in place so it's not going to move. And then you want to just pretend you're sewing and just put the, wi the wire in and out a little bit. This is why for this design, definitely I would use the um, 22 uh, gauge wire because the 20 gauge is going to be too stiff. So let's just put, put, pop it in, in and out here. Let's see if it's going to wiggle. It's still wiggling a little bit. So let's just put it, we're going to make sure it goes through all the holes of the, um, of the button and we're going to thread it through. There we go. Okay. And then like, if it's still wobbly, because I realize it does still seem quite wobbly, just go to the outside of 
button. I see how we're going to the outside of the button. So you're kind of stitching it one time, like towards the outside of the button and in. Yeah, it's almost like you're sewing with the wire. So now we actually, if you guys could see, there's the big wheel and here's the two little wheels. And now we want to make some kind of like closure in the middle there. So that would just be a matter of taking the wire and twisting it a few times. Okay. So let's just twist it around a few times so it's solid, so it's held in place on either side of that middle bar. We can go like that. So somehow miraculously, we have the two back wheels of the trike and the front wheel. And then now we want to actually make some kind of seat. And I'm gonna show you, let's try to make like a more three-dimensional seat. I'm just trying to wonder if I move this camera down a little bit. That might be better. Just, I wanna have a little bit of white wall in the back so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, and my head's cut off, but that's okay. You don't need to see me. So let's bring the wire back on the bar here. And then about where you want the seat, a little suspicious for a minute there, but we posted it out. Yeah, me too. I was starting to wonder. There we go. Hey, John, how are you? Good to see you. There we go. So this is my official live stream in New York City. It's coming along. So here's the, the two wheels and let's do the seat. So we're going to form the seat now. So we're going to bring this back like that. And then to make it more 3D, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to actually hold this with my round pliers, bend it around like this. Okay, if I hold it this way, you might see what I'm doing. So we're going to then form the front of the seat like that. Okay, it's coming along. It's a little tricky. I might end up actually doing a more professional video of how to do these because they're, they're actually turning out super cute. But you guys are on the ground floor of this. It's pretty awesome. The number of times I twist it depends on how much wire that I have left and I have quite a bit. So once you've twisted up as high as you want, then you're going to bend these, separate them so they're kind of um, going the different directions. It's still really like crooked because every time I bend it, it's getting pushed out of place, but you're going to see I'll be able to finish it at the end and it'll be perfect. So let's bend these back for the handlebars. And then, actually I'll get my flat pliers. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a crisper turn. See, it's more bent on a right angle if I use my flat pliers. And then we're just gonna bend this one like that. So we have the two ends for the, for the handlebars. And then we're going to hold this with the round pliers and then twist it back. So this is going to be one handle and then the other handle. We're going to hold it with the round pliers and bend it back like that. You have to be careful not to pinch it too hard or it could actually snap. So now let's, this keeps going out of focus. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that, but it seems to come in and out of focus, which is a little bit strange. So now you just want to be able to finish the ends off. So we're just going to take these ends and bend them around like that. And then you can clip the end off. We're just going to clip it. So we've got one handle 
And then this one, I notice it's not quite as big as the other ones, so we can just loosen it up and make it a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit somewhat symmetrical. And then we're gonna bend this end around. And uh, we've actually made tricycles purely out of wire as well. Mostly my husband does all the, uh, like the wire bikes and stuff. He's not so interested in like these unique custom pieces, but this is my, this is what I love to do is do these custom things. So believe it or not, it stands up even though I haven't even uh, adjusted it too much. So to adjust it, what we're going to do is like put it on its side and make sure all the lines are kind of perpendicular and stuff. And we're just going to maybe get our flat pliers and just adjust, adjust. We could spread out the handlebars a little bit, squeeze them if you need, and then just make sure it's more or less straight. Like if you do kind of this type of thing, you'll be able to straighten it up a little bit. Oh my God, this is so cute. Now I want a little, now I want to make a little guy that's actually sitting on the bike. But that might take us till midnight, we're going to see. So how cute is that, guys? He's pretty awesome. Wow, he's actually standing up. And then if you need to push these back a little bit, you can. So let's... Oh, before I forget, I gave your IG and Facebook into the parent of a former student. She makes beautiful jewelry and fashion. Awesome, that's great. And Andrea says, hi, this is Cat Too Cute. So cute. So there we go, guys. So there's there's three things that we've done so far. So here's, let me move some of this background stuff. There we go. Move all this stuff out of the way. I actually brought a whole bunch of beads and I didn't use them at all so far. So here's, here's the tricycle. Here's the bicycle that stands up like that. These are so cute. You know what I want to do now is I want to make a stop motion movie because they're so adorable. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do a stop motion with these things. And then here's the old fashioned bike that I didn't actually put a stand on, but I could do a stand. So these, so what do you, what, what do you guys think? Do you have a favorite one of these ones? I really, I'm really liking that tricycle. He's so cute. No, it's really fun. So you know what I'm going to do now, just because I'm here at the hotel and I thought it would be really fun, I'm going to take you guys on a super quick tour of the of the hall of the hotel. You like all three? That's awesome. So what I'll do is I'm going to flash, a, get a photo of them and stick them on the Facebook page so you guys can see a little clear picture of what they look like. You're going to try it too. Yeah, Clarice, you're going to be the first one to try them and put pictures. In fact, you have to stay up till midnight tonight and do that for me because, <laughs> you know, I expect it of you now because you're so conscientious. The tricycle is adorable. You like the old fashioned one is cool too, eh? So I'm going to just unplug my, all three are beautiful. You guys are awesome. So I'm going to unplug my um, iPod from the power source. I'm going to flip my screen. There we go. Hey guys! So, and then I'm going to take you on a little walk. Do I have my key? Yep, yeah, a little walk in my hotel. So, everybody say hi to Mimi. Whoa, can we find her? Hi! There she hi. is! So there's Mimi. Already you can see this hotel is so cool. Maybe if I go, I'll show you the roof. It's like, it's hard to see. It's a really high roof. And so I'm going to just bring you in a little tour down the hall. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't read the comments so well anymore right now because it's, um, they're so small, so I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the hall of this hotel. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to, I'll flip my screen and then I can show you how cool that is. There we go. So this is the, oh, I'm going the wrong way. This is it. <laughs> so I'm going to, I do, what I really want to do is show you the, um, some of the decor and stuff. So let's just walk down the hall. We're on the fourth floor. And I just have to find the elevator. Here we go. So there we go. It's going to be really dark. So there's art on the walls, like Salvador Dali. And then look at the old elevator and the brick work and everything. Here's the elevator and here's like some more brick work. There's like graffiti on the wall. And we're going to bring you down. I'm going to bring you guys down to the stairwell. 
And I'm going to show you some of this cool stuff. Here's another art piece, cool lamp. And then here, I just wanted to show you the hallway because it's super cool. So here's like the stairwell. Like you can see it's an old factory. And there's like chalkboard down there. And this is like some kind of strange old vault. It's cool, eh? This is a strange old vault. And then the, here's these cool mirrors and stuff. And that's it. So it's a really neat place. I'm gonna flip the screen again. There we go. <laughs> so that's awesome. So yeah, you guys let me know if you make some of these um of these designs. I would love to see them. And uh, maybe I'll do some more experimenting with the uh, with the button stuff. And I'm gonna maybe make someone uh, like a little person on that bicycle as well. And then I'm gonna make some more pictures and post them in the Facebook group. <laughs> it looks hot today. Eh? It's kind of cool. Oh, I'm back. I'm back in the room. So I hope you guys aren't too dizzy because I took you on a little tour of the hallway. And yeah, so I'm going to do more experimenting with the um, with the bikes and stuff. And if you guys are watching the replay and you want to join my uh, Wire uh, Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook, I'm going to put a link below. Everybody can post pictures of their uh, of their creations. Uh, some people are posting some amazing stuff in that group. It's really I'm so inspired. I think we have almost like about 75 members now. And uh, yeah, and I'm getting so inspired to do lots of different things. And tomorrow, yeah, we're, tomorrow we're going to go look at some art in Soho and go all around uh, and the Brooklyn Bridge and stuff. And anytime you guys have ideas for projects you want me to do on the live stream, just let me know. And uh, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye and thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks for being patient with the strange technology. And we'll see you guys definitely next week on the live stream and definitely in the Facebook page. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys super soon and uh, have a great night. Bye.